if I got one more request to do this guy's hair, I was gonna just shut my YouTube channel down. So I figured I can't hide it any longer and you know ignore the requests. Uh, he does have it bleach blonde. So this is gonna be another color job. So what I'm doing today is this, I'm gonna be doing this mannequin. I'm gonna be doing foils on pretty much every section throughout the top. Uh, I'm leaving the bottom underneath here, but I wanna create kind of a heavy bleached blonde look. Then I'm gonna, we're gonna go in and cut it. So a lot of it's going to be just kind of showing the process and then I'll break it down at the end. Okay, after 19 hours, here is the finished result. Now, I know that I could probably have gotten this color lighter, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. One, this cost me money with actual foils. It cost me money by using product. You know, I put a lot into this. I don't have like nine hours for this to sit there and bleach, so I tried as best as I can to get this as close as possible. So let's start with the haircut. Now, to me, his hair is not really an undercut because this, I, I, I did look quite a bit and he does have some length in through here. It's just that it's worked up into the top being much longer. 
Uh, so it's, it's just touching around the ear. Again, it looks like it's grown out a bit. That's how a lot of these guys wear their hair. It just looks like a hot mess because they haven't gotten a haircut and somehow it's like trendy. But, <laughs> you know, um, I would say it's about an inch long, inch and a half, and then working up into about two inches into here. And then going from two inches to about three, three and a half inches, four inches, five. So I'd say five to five and a half inches on top the most is the length. <clears throat> now, what I did do with like most of my haircuts is I did go and I blended this going from shorter to longer following the head shape, as you can see into here. So this is the longest point. Uh, I held everything straight out from the head this way to make sure it's all blended and angled. I do, I have seen sometimes where he's got this all kind of just like, you know, up and messy and all over the place. Somehow I guess that you guys like that look. Um, I guess it's a look, it works. But the key here is a lot of you want to know how to get this front like this. See how these, these pieces kind of flip up like this? If you saw what I did with the blow dryer, and a lot of them, they go like this, and they pull their hair down, right? If you see that. Here's the, here's the, the trick, is you go back like this. Let me get the hand out. Go back, and then pull down. See? So run back, and then pull down, and it gets a little bit kind of like that flip, um, that flip right into the front. Some guys do use a, a flat iron. I've seen it before, but, um, or a smoothing iron to get that look. But this is basically how you get it, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Now, since you all have been spamming me like 90 times a day to do this for the last like month, I need help from you. Again, this cost me resources. It cost me a lot of time. It cost me product, actual real money. And how about this? Let's make a deal. Since I've, I've done this for all of you who have been asking me nonstop, how about you go on TikTok because I'm going to post this. Uh, I'm going to post something like this probably by 4 o'clock or so, 4 p.m. Um, when this video goes live. And I'm gonna go on TikTok, follow me on TikTok, the salon guy, and get this out to him. Tag him in the video, say, hey, check this out, help me. That's the least I can ask from you guys. This is a big job, and it takes you seconds to tag him on my TikTok videos. So I'd really appreciate if you help me get the word out to him. Let's, let's create some hype around this. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with Salon Guy.